shout it out. So I, I wanted to be able to open the doors to the kids to think about the science and the technology and the engineering and the math through magic. It's anywhere. It's nowhere. It's in your shirt. Students really like magicians and magic and anything with optical illusions, so they were really excited about that topic naturally, and then to see how math and science are involved in that is, is just wonderful. That's a three of uh, clubs, all right? So if you take that three of clubs, and you put it down in the deck and you bring it in like so and you lift it, what do you think happens? What? It comes to the top. What? 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 Huh? The what I'm doing here is I'm presenting the science behind the magic, so I'm performing tricks involved uh, you know, with the standard things the magicians might use, such as rope, coins, cards, uh, currency, but I also explain how they're manufactured. I also explain the scientific elements behind them. So it's just another way of, of getting the kids excited about the science behind all of this. And the flash paper like so, right? Oh. You'll notice it produces a dollar bill. Uh, my favorite part was when he burnt the flash paper and then it turned into a dollar bill. You have to mix a lot of chemicals and um, soak paper. So they make a whole series of chemicals that are traditionally, that were traditionally used in, in gun powders, explosives and rocket fuels. And they go through a process to prepare it. Well, at the elementary level, we really want kids to become knowledgeable and have a foundation in math and science, but we also want to create interest and motivation. And by having real world people come in and explain their careers or leisure activities that involve science or math, it's wonderful. So that way students, as they become young adults and even older adults, choose to have, like I said, leisure activities or professional activities that involve math and science.